Isometric drawing is a quick and easy way to draw accurate design drawings. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the basics of isometric drawing. Hello and welcome back to Art Bites. My name is Mr. Heaton. Isometric drawing is a type of 3D drawing that is especially suited for design. It can be used to draw precise functional drawings to explain how something works or how something is put together. Or it can be done freehand for quick, accurate sketches that allow the designer to get their ideas down onto paper really rapidly. These freehand drawings are often accurate enough for a designer to show to clients in the early stages of a design to work out if the design is developing the way the client wants it to. Everything in isometric drawing comes in multiples of three. So in isometric drawing, we have three directions of line, we have vertical, and we have two different diagonals. And those diagonals are the same all the way through the drawing. Those diagonals are at 30 degrees, another multiple of three from a horizontal line, or at 60 degrees when they're close together, or at 120 degrees when they're a bit further apart. So that's everything is in these multiples of three. So if you wanted to be really accurate with your drawing, you could get out a protractor and you could measure each of these angles perfectly. Or you could get yourself one of these, those random triangles from your math sets. It's called a set square. And that will give you your 30 degree angles or your 90 degree angles really, really easily. If like me, however, you're using isometric drawing just to sketch out some ideas, you can do this by eye as well. The easiest way I find to do this is to start off with a letter Y, because that shape gives me all of these lines. And it's quite easy to do by eye, because you can very quickly tell if it's off, because these angles will look quite different from each other. So as long as these angles look roughly the same, you've got it roughly accurate. Now, isometric drawing or isometric projection is now used in a variety of other settings from exploded drawings in flat pack furniture instructions to mobile game design. Because isometric drawings always look like they're being viewed from that one corner, one of the benefits is that unlike perspective drawing, the final image isn't distorted in any way by the distances. In fact, the word isometric comes from Greek to mean equal measure. So let's draw our starter cuboid. So I'm going to finish this off by adding two matching diagonal lines. And they just need to match the ones from those that starting Y shape. And I'm going to overshoot them slightly because then I don't need to worry about the length. I can just focus on the angle and I can rub out the bits I don't need. So I'm then adding two matching vertical lines. And I'll finish up with some matching diagonal lines. And again, notice how these are parallel all the way through the drawing. If you wanted to make this drawing see-through, I would then add lines on the inside so I could start at this corner and again, keeping it parallel. And again, I'll try and overshoot. because that makes my life easier. Oh, look at that, perfect. By adding these internal lines, it's helpful when you want to add other sections to your drawing. So for example, if I wanted to add another cuboid coming off this direction, and I wanted to make it look like it was attached to this one, I could do that by drawing it on that side and then carrying it on. Remember, if you've drawn your lines lightly, you can easily rub out the bits you don't need at the end. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you check out my next video on crating, where I'll explain how to use isometric drawing to create more complex shapes.